A group of scientists have just announced that they plan to send Earth's location out into the cosmos, seemingly ignoring the late Stephen Hawking and his comments about how we should be careful about how we approach the cosmos. The beacon in the Galaxy Project appears to be an updated Arecibo message, which for those unaware was a broadcast that came from the Arecibo radio telescope, and the message was to let anything out there listening know that we are here. The message that was sent out was a simple one. It consisted of a pictorial message giving basic information about humans and the planet we live on. An abstract from this new project titled A Beacon in the Galaxy, updated Arecibo message for potential fast and SETI projects, reads as follows. An updated binary coded message has been developed for transmission to extraterrestrial intelligences in the Milky Way galaxy. The proposed message includes basic mathematical and physical concepts to establish a universal means of communication, followed by information on the biochemical composition of life on Earth, the solar system's timestamp position in the Milky Way relative to known clusters, as well as digitized depictions of the solar system and Earth's surface. The message concludes with images of the human form along with an invitation for any receiving intelligences to respond. End quote. Not everyone has been open to the idea of sending out this into the cosmos though, with some saying is it a good idea to be sending images of a man and a woman into space, along with information about our solar system, DNA, the various telescopes we have and also the composition of Earth. This led some to question whether the authors took into consideration whether hostile civilizations might be out there, and whether this was the best message to be sending, noting that it could leave us open. One user had this to say, Knowing how humans are and how we've treated our own kind, why do we think that civilizations would be any better? I respect the optimism, but did it cross their minds that there could be more hostile civilizations out there? Not sure how to feel about this one. Others also pointed out that the late Stephen Hawking warned against these kinds of actions, detailing that we need to be careful when approaching this subject. One of the most surprising of Dr. Stephen Hawking's predictions was his sudden transparency before his passing, and this was in regards to alien intervention. In fact, the late scientists claimed that alien contact would most likely occur within the next century, and went on to warn us about the potential disaster of trusting an alien species, and explains that not only should we remain vigilant, but that an advanced race would have motives that may be unpredictable, claiming further that any intelligent alien species could not ever be fully trusted, saying that we should stay away from sending messages into space because we don't know what's out there, and could be massively unprepared if something ever did answer. This is an interesting prediction, and may very well be the case over this next century as developments in space frame technologies are being worked on. Dr. Hawking said the following in regards to these messages. If you look at history, contact between humans and less intelligent organisms have often been disastrous from their point of view and encounters between civilizations with advanced versus primitive technologies have gone badly for the less advanced. Dr. Stephen Hawking also seemed to have had a tremendous amount of optimism relative to the coming ages of technological advancements and exploration when it came to space travel. Dr. Hawking argued that if such an extinction level event can be overcome, not only will humanity become far more united in its overall pursuits and motivations, but we will be a space-faring species, one that will be able to keep afloat by mining for renewable resources. Dr. Stephen Hawking most notably refers to us as planetary colonizers, and makes the overall suggestion that not only will Earth be our home, but many other of the celestial bodies in our solar system may find themselves colonized equally as well. This appears to be an accurate prediction, as many new space agencies are gearing up to launch various missions. In fact, many estimates for project deadlines put the first colonies on Mars to occur in 2030, 
which is merely within the next 10 years. Not only this, but NASA has begun the process and paperwork as well as research necessary for long-term inhabitation of space-faring ships. With efforts being made to replicate the famous Von Braun research station, along with the robotics and developments necessary to create fully sustainable life supports. The abstract continues with the following. These powerful new beacons, the successors to the Arecibo radio telescope which transmitted the 1974 message upon which this expanded communication is based upon, can carry forward Arecibo's legacy into the 21st century. With this equally well-constructed communication from Earth's technological civilization. End quote. Others have said that it's incredible that we're sending out these types of missions into space, and that it shows that we're ready to take on the final frontier, while other users weren't so sure about these actions, and again questioned whether sending out all of this information was the best idea with some noting that it seems like we're banking on the fact that advanced civilizations will be peaceful. Jamelia Ha, who is involved in the project, said the following. Stephen Hawking's quote is absolutely inspiring, and my personal conclusion was that any species capable of understanding and interpreting our message will likely be equally if not more intelligent and wary of our existence. Thus, as long as contact is approached with a clear son of peace, it can be assumed that the hopeful possibilities and discoveries that come alongside communication outweigh the risk. Another user had this to say, Let's just hope that nothing malicious detects these messages, as we've basically given them a breakdown of what we look like, our DNA and where we come from. So what do you make of this new project? And do you think we should be sending out messages into the cosmos? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.